stress is probably the, the start of all disease. Um, it, it impacts everything from your hormones um, on, you know, in your own body, but stress actually creates some neurochemical changes in your brain and there's a communication between your brain and your gut microbiome. And your gut, your, it's called the second brain. It's the, the second brain. Right. Well, some people think the gut was the first brain. Maybe. Right, you know, and that the, the, our brain only developed once mitochondria, we're starting to make energy for us, and then we're able to convert, use that energy to make a second brain that allowed us to reason and so forth. However, um, once you have that gut-brain connection, stress can actually, you know, we have this vagus nerve. It's a, it's a super highway from the gut to the brain. And more, there's actually- It's the relaxation nerve. It's the relaxation nerve. And your brain can communicate anxiety and stress to your gut microbiome and actually change the makeup of your gut microbiome. Yeah, and your nervous system. Right, your and gut. your nervous system. And it system. literally paralyzes, stress hormones literally paralyze your gut. Your sympathetic nervous system and your fight or flight, mm -hmm. you don't want to be digesting your food when you're running from a tiger. Right. You want your gut to shut down so you don't have to poop right. or do anything else. Right. So your gut shuts down. And that's right. what happens. We live in a state of chronic stress and our gut's not working.